Welcome back, book readers. Today I'm going to be talking about this book, which is 600 pages long. It's called The Butterfly Box. And it was a very time consuming read, but uh, the story was generally nice. I'm not going to say it's a very exciting story and it's going to keep you gripped and it's going to make you turn pages, but um, it was kind of a cozy read which you could just relax and read and read and read on. So it's mainly a family drama about one family and characters revolving around the family, extended family, uh, immediate family, parents, siblings, generally a bunch of things involved. So a bit of drama. Um, it is mainly a story about a father and daughter and their connection, how they lose it and then they find it and they reconnect. So generally it's an okay kind of story. I'm not going to really um, sell the story because um, it does require a lot of time commitment and like I mentioned earlier that it's not really one of those kind of books that will uh, just make you turn pages. So you need to be really really committed to reading this and mainly if you're interested in reading stories about women and how they get about with their life. So from the motivational point of view where you read about a character who is going through a lot of ups and downs in life and then uh, the character does find her footing, um, she does find meaning in her life and she's ready to take on uh, challenges of her life um, against the odds. Uh, it is that kind of a story. It's also great about um, the, the part about the you know father and daughter where she's very very attached to her father and then she loses contact with her dad but uh, many many years later she reconnects with him, she forgives him for staying out of touch and not uh, making efforts to find her daughter, uh, his daughter, or you know, generally be a part of their lives. Um, she's angry with her mother. She's not really cool with her stepdad. Um, and obviously, there are like a whole bunch of issues that she's having with relationships around her. She does find a bunch of people who she's very connected to, but um, you know, as a positive character, she she finds what she's looking for. So um, the graph of the characters and the excitement of the plot is just pretty plain. Um, nothing very twisty, turny, but generally a good read. So I'm not going to highly recommend it, but if you want to read something that doesn't take too much of your brain power and uh, you're just reading for casual, uh, entertainment then you can go ahead and read the book um, also subscribe to the channel because I'm going to come back next week and tell you about the other book that I've begun reading and I will tell you if you should or should not read or why you should read it so until next time I'll see you around